So I have a message from our galactic team. Um, excuse my appearance. I just had a flood of waterworks. But this isn't about me. Um, I have a message from, I want to say the higher ups. Um, and the message is, we want all the humans free. We want all the humans free. And that is why so many light workers have incarnated onto earth at this time because there was a signal that was sent out. And I know to people who are unconsciously aware, they will say, Oh, spirituality is just trending right now. It's trendy right now. No, that's not the case. We chose to be here at this time because they want the humans free. So everybody who has picked up spirituality, everybody who calls himself a light worker, everybody who, you know, have left traditional religion and are trying to find a new path find a new way understand you have incarnated here on earth at this time because you are a part of a greater mission and the mission is to free the humans because the humans have been trapped and enslaved here on this planet for millennia okay for a very 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 long time the humans have been trapped here and this is not a bad place to be okay this is a beautiful magical incredible place to be there's so much beauty and wonder on this earth the higher ups say we never wanted you guys to hate earth you were never meant to hate this beautiful utopian planet sorry you were never meant to hate this beautiful place it's so beautiful earth is a treasure to us and i'm not talking about us the humans i'm talking about the higher ups they said earth is a treasure to us we love earth so much okay but what we don't love is the turmoil the chaos the corruption that has engulfed the planet and that is why we have sent so many light workers, so many spiritual teachers, so many spiritual practitioners. Okay, the new age is not trendy, spirituality is not trendy. Um, no, it is making a comeback now because so many of us have come from the higher ups and incarnated into human bodies to rebalance the scale so that we can have our beautiful planet back okay that is why there's so many light workers here that is why there's so many spiritual teachers here and we are not meant to go to war with each other our job and our duty here is to wake up the collective wake as many of us up as possible and free the humans that is the mission that is the objective if for a moment we ever forget that that is the mission or that is the objective we're doing this wrong we're living wrong okay and this message might not resonate for everybody but for those people who are like i want to make a change in the world i want to make a difference in the world and can see the corruption in the world and in society the higher ups want you to know that the mission is hashtag save the humans okay and you incarnated into a human body to be a part of the revolution the revolution again save the humans because we have been covered with a blanket of illusion and when you look around in your in your neighborhoods you see something completely opposite than what is meant to be, okay? If you ever want to remember how life on earth is meant to be, just look up at the sky. Look up at the sky because they cannot 
change the sky. They can put fake clouds in the sky to hide, you know, the sky, to hide the sun, to hide the, the nature, the organicness of this planet. But if you ever forget, if you get engulfed by the negativity, the corruption, they say, look up at the sky. The sky is the truth, okay? And from there, remember nature. Remember how natural and organic life is meant to be here. Envision yourself in a beautiful jungle, okay? Filled with verdant plants, beautiful beautiful plants and then see the animals walking by in harmony and you're not afraid of them they can just walk right by you lions tigers bears cats bunny rabbits they just little froggies walking around goats walking around and we live symbiotically with them Meaning that we don't hurt them and they don't hurt us because we see the divinity within each other. Okay? Um, yeah. They just say, this is why you're here. Don't be overwhelmed by what is going on in the world. They get it. Yeah, it's a shit show. <laughs> it's a shit show. <laughs> We get it. They get it, right? Like the, the angels, guides, helpers, they get it. And some of us are like, why would anybody want to be here, right? There is a reason. You are a galactic celestial warrior. And you came back to earth to save the humans, to free the humans. Yeah, you're probably not meant to be here. Yeah, you did have to drop down in density to, to dwell on this planet, but this is a beautiful, magnificent place. And just because they've built all of this arc, all this, um, they've built all these buildings and concrete ground and all these electrical poles everywhere and yeah they've created what they what they wanted with this beautiful place but the more humans wake up the more we save the humans the more we save ourselves we can begin to go back to the natural way okay don't ever for a second think that they've won and don't ever for a second think that this is just the way it's always meant to be. The reason why there are so many spiritual people here right now is because we are here to save the humans, even though we are human, right? But we're here to save the humans. So um, I want to play my singing bowl and I just had a really huge light language activation and it was, I feel like it was a cry from, again, the higher ups. And also it was a cry from the light workers who are down here on earth. So um, if you want to stick around for that, that's what I'm going to do now. But that was my message. So um, yeah. Koita ice in a oi kato oila haishina e kota na haishina oi kashina aya lo hoya kashana aya Usana koim 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 kalas in a oya shana e sana kaya to the oya takai Una kasini e kona haishina e koila haishina oya Umakala haya koila haishina e kota na hai kum kata koya hai la koya hai a koya hoya hai hai a hoya is a high hoy hala hoy ho in a koya hoya suna hoya ha and as i'm saying this just open up your heart to receive the light codes usna hai shna ho kala hai mo hai na ko sna hai u na ha shna o ya la hai ko na hai to the ho la ho ya ho ya i'm hearing that this light language transmission is to reconnect um reconnect the light workers reconnect the humans with that invisible tether that connects them to their higher selves and to their angels their guides and their galactic team 
Osana hash in the hoo, cash and an eye a call a high, turn the hoo the hash in the oo. Go my hoy and a high, call a high, call to ho hoy a hoy a eye or to call ya high. Oh, the high or to call ya, I la eye a hoy a. And forgive me if you guys have never heard light language before and if it sounds a bit bizarre. Um, light language is a way of unlocking the, the our tongues have essentially been hijacked and our, our our tongues our voice our vibration that we emit out into the world is extremely powerful and when we use our our voices our throat chakras in an unlocked way meaning that we're not bound by the the language that they have created and concocted there's so many more ways that we can express ourselves when we unlock our tongue <laughs> So I feel like this transmission is really asking you to remember. And if you open yourself up to it, if we're not too, you know, in our ego, if we're not like, oh, this is weird, you know, like if we just open ourselves up to our highest expression, we will be able to create a stronger tether. The tether always exists, okay? But when we forget who we are, the tether is like a thin, 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 a thin thread, a very thin thread, okay? When it's meant to be like a thick rope, the tether is meant to be like a thick rope that connects us to our higher self, to our angels, guides, and helpers, and to, to the cosmos, to all that exists outside of the earth plane. But right now, a lot of people are connected by a very thin string, and that is why they feel so disconnected. That is why they cannot remember who they are or what they're meant to be doing here. And that is why they get caught up in the matrix and in the secular world. And they think that they're meant to just chase money and chase material items like big houses and cars. Okay, because their tether is very thin. It's a thin string. And what the, what the, the higher ups are trying to do with this light language activation and also just with just with the spiritual community in general is create a thicker tether we need a thicker tether to the higher ups we need a thicker like a rope think of like a thick rope that connects you to your angels guides helpers and to your higher self because when you have a thicker rope a thicker tether you can receive far more insight. Your intuition is, is heightened because you're receiving information straight from the source. And that is why whenever everyone's like, meditate, 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 we're meditating to strengthen that tether. We are connecting ourselves to that which we cannot see, but that which we are have always been connected to. And again, when we get lost in this 3D world, it, it etches away at that tether and the string. It's like a thin, 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 thin thread. Okay? We are meant to to strengthen, strengthen the tether, okay? So that we can remember our mission here on this planet. Siwa hai hoi hai hoi hai hoi Una hai sana koya ai la hai hoi Okay, so our mission here is to free the humans, and I hope this wasn't too weird. Um, I just like went crazy in my room, like, I had this huge light language activation, and it was, um, I guess triggered from um, there's this 
this Instagrammer, her name is Share Your, Share Your Light 333. I will leave her link in the description box if I can remember, but essentially she specializes in light language activation. And through listening through her transmit listening to her transmissions, if you open up your heart to it, because it's not about what we say, it's about the resonance, okay? It's our soul, it's our spirit speaking through us, speaking through the technology that we have, i.e. our throat chakra, our mouth, our tongue. So, um, yeah, I said all that to say that is the mission, that is why we're here. If you forget that and you claim to be a light worker or a spiritual person, you have to be reminded again and again and again and again that is why we are here okay to save the humans and in saving the humans we will save the planet save mother earth okay so one last one last ring Our guides say they love us so much and thank you for being the ones to volunteer to enter the earth realm to save the collective we thank you we honor you we honor your sacrifice we love you we're, we're with you you're never alone okay find your earth team is what they said find your earth team Find people in your community that you can anchor and light on the grid with. Find your community. Find each other. We're out there. We're here. Find each other. Reach out to each other. The more of us that come together in the physical and hold space for the anchoring of new earth, we are shooting out a light into the cosmos the more of us that come together we are shooting out a light and our angel guides and helpers they see us shooting out the light and they are rejoicing in the astrals they are rejoicing they're like they found each other the mission is in full progress they found each other okay <laughs> no, it sounds so funny. <laughs> but this is the original way that we used to communicate with each other. So if you feel called to practice your light language, see what comes out when you don't when you don't try to manipulate what you're going to say, you just let your soul speak, let your spirit speak. Because what you're doing when you're doing that, you are sending out a vibration into earth and it's healing to the earth and it's healing to your body, to your DNA. Okay? It's your soul speaking. It's your spirit speaking. And when you let your soul speak, when you let your spirit speak, you are healing your DNA. You are activating your DNA. You are anchoring in the light. The vibration is rippling out, out of your body and into the world. Okay, I think that is it. I think that's everything. Forgive me if this video was a little bit too weird. As you can see, I'm in my feels. <laughs> in the best way possible, in the best way possible. It's like I just had this realization. I mean, I always knew that we were here. But it's like, no, you're really here for this. You're really here for this. We're really here for this. And yeah, we do have to master the physical plane. So it's like, if they want to use money as currency, yeah, we do have to master that. We do have to, we do have to have something to start building our kingdom. Um, you know, if they want to, you know, like we're breaking the mold, we're breaking out of these systems. But again, yes, we do have to master the physical. We can't always be up in the astrals. We can't always be up in the spiritual world, right? And a lot of spiritual people are like, oh, we hate it here. I hate it here. 
remember your mission like like yeah this place is shit like yeah but it's also very beautiful and this place is only shit because we've allowed it to be ran by lower dimensional beings but that is why again we incarnated here we can feel on a soul level that things are not right here that we're constantly having to show up at work or at jobs that we hate that we're constantly in this this debt system that is not what living is that is not what real life is okay so when we talk about new earth new earth is just going back to organic earth okay it's new in a sense that it's new because we've had to wake up to the spell wake up to the illusion and move back in the in the appropriate direction so in that instance it's new but it's it's really not new we're just going back to the natural organic way that things are meant to be okay so I love you guys. I hope that you received this message. I hope it's not too woo-woo. Um, and that's what I have to say. Bye. Save the humans.